This is my friend Helen. She's switched on and really smart, but almost fell for one of the crafty scams doing the rounds right now when she was in Miami. They're aimed at cruisers like her, you and me. And if she nearly did, anyone could. So I want to stop those scammers ripping us cruise lovers off. And there are actually four of them to watch out for right now. First off, scammers know, of course, we'd all love a free cruise, which is how they almost caught Helen. There are several versions of the free cruise scams that I've seen happening right now. The first of these is the promise of a free cruise or perhaps an entry into free cruise draw for doing a simple survey. This one is a hot favorite of scammers right now. And as well as for cruises, I'm actually getting them already right now for airlines and hotels too. Now it all sounds incredibly easy. Scammers send out emails or they post on social media, inviting us to answer some very simple survey questions or to give feedback perhaps on a cruise line. And in return, we will get a free cruise or be entered into a draw for one. However, once you do the survey, you'll then need to speak to someone to get the cruise and they will manipulate you into handing over money. For example, the scammers will tell you there are port and other fees that you need to pay to secure the booking. Then they will say you've won a really basic cabin and you should upgrade to a better cabin at a really fantastic special rate that you can only get right then and now. If you refuse that, then suddenly the date you want is sold out and then there are fees to get the actual date that you want. You will end up paying, by the way, more than if you just booked a cruise yourself. And in most cases, the cruise is actually not real and the scammers disappear before you realize the booking is fake and you've handed over money. The survey method is not the only technique though that scammers are using to ensnare cruisers. They're also creating fake cruise line profiles on Facebook or Instagram and then running posts offering free cruises as prizes if we like, comment on and share the post. Now these look really convincing and I've seen them recently for lines including Carnival Cruise Line, Pino Cruises and many more. If you ever see a post like this, simply click on the profile and see if it really is the cruise line. The profile would normally have a blue tick confirming it's genuine, but also just look simply at how many followers and regular posts the profile has. The scammer pages normally have almost no followers and very few posts. By the way, another way to avoid this is there are a few cruise bloggers and sites who keep really up-to-date lists of genuine competitions with cruises as prizes. A couple of these include cruisemummy.co.uk, travelscoop.co.uk, and theprizefinder.com. These are all in the UK. If you're in the US, sites like the following, shouldbecruising.com, and liveabout.com. But if you do enter competitions, remember what you've entered because I've been following some cruisers that recently received notifications that they'd won a cruise, even though they don't actually remember entering to win one. The scammers had sent them emails with a winner certificate and a number to call to claim the so-called free cruise prize. The number, although appearing to be local, was actually a foreign premium line which just kept them hanging on, racking up huge costs on their phone, which the scammers then keep, until basically the people that I followed got bored and hung up. And that brings me back to my savvy friend, Helen, and her twist on the free cruise scam. Now, while she didn't fall for those previous free cruise variations, she did fall for one of the oldest scam tricks around. While in Miami not long ago, Helen went on one of those boat trips to view the homes of the rich and the famous. Everyone on board was invited to enter raffle, which guaranteed several free cruises on Carnival Cruise Line as prizes right there and then. She entered and was really excited when she was announced as one of the winners. Now, when she and the others went to claim their prize, they were told they simply had to collect the prize in person in the next few days at a local resort where they would simply have to go through a short presentation first. They would even offer to fetch her from the hotel she was staying and take her there. Now she called me really excited and unfortunately I had to break the news that if she went, it would be a hard sell timeshare presentation and the free cruise would come with fees and so many strings making it 
hard or if not impossible to use. So if like Helen, you're ever offered a free cruise by simply going to a presentation, it is a scam. Let's move on from those free cruise scams as I'd like to warn you about cruise ship crew successfully taking cruises like you and me for a ride. As more and more cruise members become social media stars and are very active on social media, their names and faces are being used to target cruisers who know and recognize them. The first of these is both believable and very clever. And I'm not surprised that so many cruisers have been caught out thinking well-known crew members were helping solve their problems with upcoming cruises or getting them bookings in sold out restaurants, shows, events, or excursions on their cruises coming up. The very best example of this is John Heald. He is the Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador and a very well-known and well-loved cruise director with an extremely popular Facebook page. However, scammers set up fake profile pages pretending to be him. I just searched Facebook and found five. John, though, often reports that he's seen up to seven at any one time. Cruisers following these fake pages are asking for help. They get sent by the fake John a direct message with an email or phone number to get one of his team to help. Now they supposedly solve the problem, make the bookings and ask for a fee to hold the reservation, which supposedly will get refunded on board. Of course, it never happens. Before following any cruise line employee, look carefully at the profile the number and type of posts and how many followers. The fake ones often just have a handful and very few posts. Scammers though are also currently taking advantage of the respect and trust we have for ship captains. I've seen three examples with in one several hundred thousands of dollars being scammed from cruises. Captain Kate McHugh of Celebrity Cruises is a social media hit. Scammers are taking her photos and setting up fake profiles to contact and flirt with men. Eventually they start asking for money to help her supposedly sort out some sort of crisis. It's actually been done though on a bigger scale where photos of a Danish captain, Captain Masden, were used by scammers to create a Captain Thomas Steve. Now he was looking for love and romance online and then as relationships built, he started asking for money gifts, help with other issues. Now the real Captain Masden says he has been contacted by thousands, thousands of women from Europe, China, Japan, and Australia. They have been scammed. It got so bad that he even put a warning on his Facebook page pointing out that he's gay and married to a man. But captains do seem to be a blind spot for cruise lovers, as in the UK, a man called Jody Oliver. He pretended to be a captain on Carnival Corporation's P&O Cruises. He managed to scam over 320,000 pounds, that's about $400,000, from friends and family of someone he was dating by claiming he was getting them cheap cruises and vacations. There is also another scam targeting people who are looking to work on cruise ships. The scammers create fake profiles of really senior crew that look like they could credibly offer a way to get work on cruise ships. For example, Danny Thomas, who is now the hotel manager on Ritz-Carlton Yachts, but was for a very long time with celebrity cruises before that. Now he's very active on Instagram and I've seen many fake profiles using his pictures offering people help to get work. The fake Danny then aims to rip people off with fees for supposedly job applications, visas, health screenings, before of course disappearing with the money. So in short, beware of any cruise line employee asking for anything online. And again, before you follow any of them, just check the numbers of followers and posts. By the way, I am also being used to scam people. But before I get into that, I first want to talk about scams around other cruise arrangements. With the costs of flying to and from our cruises and pre and post cruise hotel stay costs spiraling, I'm sure you like me are on the lookout for cheaper ways of doing both. The scammers have noticed this too. The scammers are catching cruisers like us searching terms like cheap flights and hotels and they set up authentic looking but fake sites. Once booked several things may happen. The site disappears and there is no booking or close to the trip. What I'm hearing is cruisers are getting a call saying that the flight or hotel booking has been cancelled. New ones have to be booked but they're at a higher price and they have to pay more. 
A big warning sign, by the way, is if the site won't take credit cards and only debit or critically bank transfers for payment. That is a big warning sign. To avoid being scammed, use companies you've heard of or simply go and check reviews of those that you haven't. Check the site has the padlock so that it shows that it's secure and always, always use a credit card because you can recover money from the credit card company if the provider does not supply the actual booking. This also applies, by the way, to cruises. I found sites popping up with names that sound like search terms like cheapest Alaska cruises or similar. However, once you try and book the really, really low prices you're seeing, you're likely to find that it's no longer available, surprise, surprise, but higher cost grades are. Now, while there are some deals to be had, usually the line will have the best price. So at least check the rates on the cruise line site, look, then look at well-known agents who do do some sharp price at times like Costco or Vacations to Go and so on. But next, I do want to warn you about me and how I may be trying to scam you. First off, believe it or not, scammers have even been using my photos on dating sites posing as a fake engineer on cruise ships like Holland America, Osterdam. So if you ever see me on a dating site and start getting messages and photos like these, it is not me. If you ever get a message from me on YouTube with my picture and channel name replying to a comment you've left where I say I have something great to offer you along with a WhatsApp number or a telegram, uh, details to contact me, please do not. Scammers are creating clone channels using my profile picture and then the Tips for Travelers channel name, and then they start replying to comments with enticing offers. It takes me and YouTube time to spot them and block them and get them closed. They're doing it for many, many channels, so be on the watch out for this on your favorite YouTube channel. If in doubt about a comment from me, click on the profile picture in the comment. If a scammer fake channel, you'll see that they have no followers, and no content. If it's me, you'll see all the videos and all the content. If you find this helpful, watch this video where I talk about scams to watch out for when you're actually in a cruise port, starting with the one that unfortunately friends of mine fell for just the other month. See you over there.